Avenue Q. I'd be like the coolest TV series if they made it. The Adventures of Venacula. <laughs> oh, they cannot stop us, my liege. Watch me as my dark magic causes me to disappear. <laughs> ah, even me. They can't catch me. I disappear into a taxi. <laughs> ah, shut left, shut left. <laughs> Oh, oh, Venacula. Oh, the townships would never be the same again. People running down the streets. Ah, I'm going to bite you. You, you don't bite me. Ah, I'm going to bite you. You don't bite me. Ah, bite you. Because if you notice, like, women in the township can run really fast until they're in danger. Then they're like, ooh. The car is going to bump me. I don't know. Even if you look at the picture of Hector Peterson, the chick in the photo is like, Ooh. Oh, it's, ah, bite you. You don't bite me. Ah, I'm going to bite you. Can't stop me. You don't bite me. You are. Ah, you. Please don't bite me. Don't bite me. Why are you taking so long to bite me? Yeah, I'm just putting on the condom first, wait. <laughs> yeah, you know, blood transfusion, dangerous. Ah, <laughs> venacula, dangerous but safe. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Venacula proudly brought to you by the Department of Health. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, oh. oh I'm sorry, ma'am. Where was I? <laughs> Oh, Indian people, yes. Sorry about that. Yes, because they do. They sing the vernacular bit of the song. Word for word. They know it. You know? And then when it gets to the Afrikaans bit, they just, they just skip out. I like that. It's calm, you know? The young guys can sing, but the older men, they don't, they don't engage at all. They'll be there singing vernacular, word for word. Sichabasa. <laughs> South Africa, South Africa. <laughs> Everyone else is singing. Blue fan, oh, and say, hey, aren't you gonna say, no, no, you all go ahead, you all go ahead, carry on there. No, no, go ahead. I know where you all are going. I'll meet you all in front, right? No, no, carry on. What? You all wanna sing with the farmer? Sing with your farmer friends there. Eh? I don't even know what they sing. Sing with them there, eh? sing with them. Sing with them, it's fine there. Eh? No, I'm not gonna sing things I don't know. Just... And they don't sing. But they do get caught out, because our, our anthem is a great tune. If there's one thing about Indian people, that is they love their music. Culturally, it's ingrained into them. If you watch them closely, really closely, if the camera stays on them for long enough, they don't sing along, but they get caught up. They'll be there, like... South Africa, South Africa. And they blow fun. And if you watch them closely, they'll act like they hate it. You'll see them. Oi. Who's watching? And then everyone comes together for the end. Sounds the call. Yes. My favorite part of the anthem. Favorite part, I love it. It's elegant and it's beautiful, you know. It sounds like something out of an opera. It doesn't sound like a national anthem. It sounds like a love song. It's beautiful, you know. The words would fit right in on the West End, like a Broadway production or something of a Phantom of the Opera, you know. It's beautiful. It has, you could see that woman singing to that guy, you know, do the mask. She'd be there and the words would for it sounds the call to come together, united. It's beautiful. I could see her in that voice, the spotlight on her. Sounds the call. 
to come together. He'd be at the bottom. And united, we shall stand. What? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, it's nuts. It's a beautiful anthem. And the misconception is everyone thinks it's the easiest part of the song to sing. And once again, it is a big misconception because a large population, a large part of South Africa doesn't know how to speak English. You take that for granted when you come from major cities. But if you look at the stats, if you look at census, a lot of black people do not speak English. It's not their first nor their second language. They speak African languages and maybe even Afrikaans first. So when it gets to that part of the anthem, there's a large amount of black people that don't know their anthem. But you know what I love? Is that the volume never drops. <laughs> Energy never subsides. Because they know how important the song is. And black people have never needed words to sing a song. <laughs> no. They get in there and they hum. They don't just hum, they hum the shit out of that song. They'll sing the Afrikaans word for word, flawlessly. And as it gets to the English, they won't skip a beat, but if you listen closely, they don't know the words, they'll be there. And then they get confidence at the end. In South Africa, our friend. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for supporting me. Goodbye. Thank you. Awesome. It was amazing. I just love Trevor Noah. He's my absolute favorite. I really loved it. Very good show. It's what we used to. It was fantastic, man. We loved it. Eh? it excellent. He might take my wife from me. My <laughs> wife just loves him to pets. Eh? <laughs> Lots of love. He must take the Indians to task and make fun of them. No, I like it when he imitates Zuma. <laughs> the national anthem was great. Uh, the, uh, you with uh, Julius Malema. ETV voiceover was hilarious. Hello, white girls and the wet tea. Vernacula! Vernacula, brah! Vernacula? Vernacula! Vernacula! Vernacula!